Hey guys, Coach Chris. I want to go over step two with you today for our Chalk Talk session on um, mastery for in-home sales. And uh, I'm sorry my handwriting is not good, I know that, um, but I'm really good at sales and I'm really good at making a lot of money doing this and I want to be able to help you and give you this information. But step two is where I see most people, about 80%, fail uh, when they're in the homes. So step two is actually called selling with faith. So when you're in the homes, we call it selling with faith. Now, 80% of the guys, roughly 80% of the folks that do in-home sales, this is why they only make $40,000, $50,000 a year, because they get, they get messed up. I want to use this kind of a, a visual here, almost like a football field, and I want to do some X's and O's with you, but step two, right, in an eight-step process, kind of happens right in the beginning of the house, 15 minutes into the home, 10 minutes in the home. Most salespeople are confronted with a buyer who's a little cold at first. They're like a, they're like a cold stick of butter and you have to melt their butter as you go along in the process to where they open up to you and they completely change, right? Um, see, buyers are not liars. Uh, they're being honest with you when they first kind of meet you, but um, they'll just melt away once you, once you address these issues throughout the sale. But guys, very beginning in the sale, you're gonna hear things sometimes like, oh, I just want price, right? Oh, oh you, look, you're looking to have a good day. You go out there and the first thing they tell you is, oh, well, by the way, I got you know three other companies that are gonna be shopping too, just so you know. So when you leave, I got three others coming today. So, um, so make it chippy, right? Okay, you know, can you make it quick? You know, you start to give your demo, your presentation, and they start to, to rush you. You're like, oh, I don't really need that. I just, I just need the price. Folks, this is what happens. This salesperson has a decision to make when he comes in the home. He's gonna run into heavy defense. That's defense, guys. What happens is most guys get flushed out. They change their attitude. They change, they change the way they pitch. They change the way they present. Their whole aura changes. They lose everything, right? So what happens is they come out into the out zone, right? Out of bounds. They're not going to get a sale, right? They give up on the buyer, and therefore the buyer gives up on him, the seller or her, the seller, right? But what you can do is if you sell with faith and you don't worry about what they tell you, you run straight up that middle, right? You come all the way here to the end zone. This is where you got to get to the end zone, guys. This is where the money is. This is your sale. This is $1,500, $2,500, $3,000 at the end of an hour and a half, two-hour session, right? So you cannot, you cannot let this affect you. Stay focused. Sell with faith. Don't worry about running into this stuff. Just want price. Oh, I forgot you were coming today, right? Guys, those are just buyer defense mechanisms, right? They're just trying to, it's a, it's a way to kind of put you off to, to keep you from, from giving them a world-class buying experience. And that is what we teach you guys to do is deliver a world-class buying experience in the homes every time. And when you do that, you're going to come right through that defense and you're going to get all those sales. Meanwhile, most of these sellers out there end up literally flaking off. They don't give world-class buying experience. They quit on their buyers. They don't sell it to them, and, and, and they lose the business. So, guys, step two um, is selling with faith. Don't lose that faith. No matter who you're with, no matter what they say, always give a world-class buying experience, and you are going to make a ton of money doing this in-home sales. All right, guys? Have a great one today, and I uh, wish you the best. We'll do another one uh, here short, shortly, okay? Bye.